guys, welcome to another week of the Aaron Running Podcast. Today I'm going to be doing another reaction video and this one is going to be of a clip that I saw going around on Twitter and it's from the uh, podcast Pints with, Equ with Aquinas and it's uh, Pints with Aquinas is a podcast hosted by Matt Frad. It's a Catholic podcast and um, in this clip, he is interviewing an exorcist by the name of Vincent Lambert. So in this short clip, they both say that Satan is more afraid of Mary than he is of God, which is crazy to say. But um, I'm going to go ahead and play the clip now. Very real way, Satan fears the Blessed Virgin Mary even more than God himself. Not because he says that the power and hatred of God aren't infinitely superior or greater than the Blessed Virgins, but because of his great arrogance, he's uh, more frightened to be overcome by a little handmaid than, than God himself. And that sounds like it's kind of resonating with some of the things you've already said here today about the arrogance. You know, you think of St. Augustine and even Aquinas, again, would say that, you know, most people would say that it's the sin of pride. But Augustine and even Aquinas would say that you could take it a step further and say it's really the notion of the incarnation that the devil cannot accept. Huh. That human flesh will be elevated higher than he will. And if you think of the role of our Blessed Mother, you know, she says yes to God. Eve's no and disobedience is reversed by Mary's yes and obedience. And then she becomes the Queen of Heaven. Mm. Which means then again, she's even elevated a higher level. All right. Yeah, I think... Um, obviously, this is a ridiculous statement. Um, yes, we can show honor to Mary because she birthed and raised Jesus. Um, but Satan and his demons, are, um, they fear God because he is the creator, right? He is the one who gives life and death. Scripture says that he created hell even just for Satan and his angels. Yes, there are going to be unbelievers that end up there, but originally, right, this is this is a place that was created for Satan and his angels. So, uh, we see in Jesus' earthly ministry, the demons are terrified of him, even the sight of him. So, we have this story from the Gospels. Um, I'm going to be reading from the book of Luke for this one. But this is when Jesus heals a man with a legion of demons. And even just at the sight of Jesus, the demons just freak out. So I'm going to read here in Luke chapter 8, verse 28. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and said with a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I beg you, do not torment me. So Jesus eventually cast these demons out and sent them into a herd of pigs. And then this herd of pigs runs into a lake and drowns. So this is just one story of Jesus showing how much the demonic forces are afraid of him. I don't see anywhere in scripture where demonic forces or Satan himself are afraid of Mary. I mean, even when the apostles would cast out demons, they were doing it by the power of God, right? They weren't doing it by the power of Mary. Um, and if you notice at the end of the video, too, uh, they also mention how Mary became the queen of heaven. I'm not entirely sure where this doctrine comes from. I mean, I, I, I know it's like a Catholic doctrine, but I don't know where they get this from in the scripture because I don't see it in scripture. Um, but I did so see someone post this on Twitter, and I found it interesting. The only mention of queen of heaven in scripture is when the Israelites were worshiping a demon by that name in the book of Jeremiah. So this is mentioned a few times in the book of Jeremiah, but I'm going to read it from Jeremiah chapter 7, starting in verse 16 and going to verse 20. As for you, do not pray for this people, or lift up a cry or prayer for them, and do not intercede with me, for I will not hear you. Do you not see where they, what they are doing in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, the fathers kindle fire, and the women knead dough to make cakes for the queen of heaven. And they pour out drink offerings to other gods and to provoke me to anger. Is it I whom they provoke, declares the Lord? Is it not themselves to their own shame? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, my anger and my wrath will be poured out on this place, upon man and beast, upon the trees of the field and the fruit of the ground, 
it will burn and not be quenched. On that note, I will just say that there is no other name that we ought to fear and worship other than God himself. He is the king of the universe. If you or someone you know are experiencing demonic oppression or possession, call on the name of our Lord and him alone.